Hello guys, welcome to Macout Smasher. In this video, we begin our journey to the environmental science with chapter 1, the fundamentals of environment. The environment plays a vital role in sustaining the life and understanding its components helps us to make the informed decision. We will explore the relationship between the humans and the environment, population growth and resource management and sustainable development. Additionally, we will discuss the material balance, environmental degradation and both natural and human made hazards. This chapter lays the foundation for environmental engineering and uh, its real world application. By the end of this video, you will grasp the essential concepts needed to analyze and address the environmental challenges. So stay with us to explore these crucial points or topics you can say in depth. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Makeup Resmasher for more insightful content. So let's begin our journey. The environment and man society environment interrelationship. The environment consists of biotic and abiotic means living and non-living components that interact in a complex system you can say. Humans as a part of the environment influence and are influenced by the natural processes. Society shapes its environment through urbanization, industrialization, technological advancement. The man society environment relationship is dynamic with human activities impacting the ecosystems, climate and biodiversity. Environmental awareness is crucial to balance the development and conservation. Pollution, deforestation and resource depletion are consequences of unsustainable interactions. Understanding this relationship helps in designing the policies that promote the sustainability. Engineers play a crucial role in minimizing the ecological footprints. Environmental science provides tools to analyze and mitigate the negative impact. A balanced approach ensures the long-term ecological economic stability. So now, mathematics of population growth and its environment impact. Population growth follows mathematical models like the exponential and logistic growth. The rapid increase in the population exerts pressure or natural resources leading to overconsumption and pollution, the urban expansion, waste generation and energy demand, rise the population density. The carrying capacity defines the maximum population and environment can sustain without degradation. So unchecked growth result in food shortages, water scarcity, habitat destruction, so birth and death rate, migration and the fertility rates influence the demographic trends. Overpopulation intensifies the climate change and loss of biodiversity. Environmental engineers study these trends to develop a sustainable solution. Population control measures like education and resource management aid in mitigating the environmental stress. So integrating the technology with the conservation ensures a balanced population resource dynamic. So in this portion, some numerical questions can be asked like the population growth numericals okay, in the university examination. So now resources, types and effect of overuse. Resources are classified into renewable means solar, wind, water and non-renewable means coal, oil, minerals and environmental degradation. Overuse of fossil fuels result in air pollution and climate change. Deforestation disrupts the ecosystems, affecting the biodiversity and carbon cycles. Water overconsumption causes the scarcity, affecting the agriculture and the human settlements. Unsustainable fishing and mining practices threaten the marine and the terrestrial life. Conservation strategies like the afforestation, recycling, and alternative energy adoption reduce the negative impacts. Engineers develop the resource efficient technologies to promote the sustainability. Governments enforce policies like the carbon taxes and emission regulation. Sustainable resource management ensures the ecological balance. So a future focused approach secures the resource for coming generations. Sustainable development. 
सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट बैलेंस इज द इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ एनवायरमेंटल प्रोटेक्शन एंड सोशल इक्विटी इट इन्श्योर्स दैट प्रेजेंट नीड्स आर मेड विदाउट कॉम्प्रोमाइजिंग द फ्यूचर जेनरेशन द एबिलिटी टू मीट देयर्स सो द कॉन्सेप्ट इंटीग्रेट्स द रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी द वेस्ट रिएक्शन एंड रिसोर्स कॉन्जर्वेशन ग्रीन टेक्नोलॉजीज लाइक द सोलर प्लान पैनल्स इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स मिनिमाइज द एनवायरमेंटल फुटप्रिंट्स सस्टेनेबल एग्रीकल्चर प्रोमोट्स द ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग एंड वाटर कॉन्जर्वेशन द उर्बन प्लानिंग इनकॉर्पोरेट्स द ग्रीन स्पेसिस स्पेसिस द एफिशियंट ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड इको फ्रेंडली इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इंटरनेशनल एग्रीमेंट्स लाइक द पैरिस एग्रीमेंट गाइड द ग्लोबल सस्टेनेबिलिटी एफर्ट्स सो इंडस्ट्रीज एडाप्ट द क्लीनर प्रोडक्शन मेथड्स टू रिड्यूस द इमिशन एंड वेस्ट गवर्नमेंट्स इम्प्लीमेंट पॉलिसीज एनकारेजिंग द सस्टेनेबिलिटी थ्रू द इंसेंटिवस एंड रेगुलेशंस पब्लिक अवेरनेसेस एंड एडुकेशन फूस्टर अ कल्चर ऑफ कॉन्जर्वेशन अ सस्टेनेबल एप्रोच गैरेंटीज द लॉन्ग टर्म एनवायरमेंटल हेल्थ सो मेटेरियल बैलेंस स्टेरियस्टेड सिस्टम्स एंड पॉल्यूटेंट्स मेटेरियल बैलेंस प्रिंसिपल्स एनालाइज द फ्लो ऑफ सब्सटेंसेस विद इन द एनवायरमेंटल सिस्टम इन अ स्टेडियस्टेड सिस्टम द इनपुट इक्वल्स टू आउटपुट मीन्स मेंटेनिंग द इक्विलिब्रियम पॉल्यूटेंट्स डिस्टर्ब द दिस बैलेंस लीडिंग टू कॉन्टेमिनेशन एंड द इको सिस्टम डैमेज इंडस्ट्रियल इमिशन ऑल्टर द एटमोस्फेरिक कॉन्जम्पन कॉम्पोजिशन कॉजिंग द एयर पॉल्यूशन वेस्ट वाटर डिस्चार्ज द इफेक्ट ऑफ एक्वाटिक लाइफ इट इफेक्ट्स एक्वाटिक लाइफ बाई इंट्रोड्यूसिंग द टॉक्सिक केमिकल्स सॉलिड वेस्ट एकोमोलेशन लीड्स टू लैंड डिग्रेडेशन एंड हैबिटेट लॉस इंजीनियर्स डिजाइन द पॉल्यूशन कंट्रोल मेथड्स लाइक फिल्टरेशन बायो रिमिडिएशन सो एनवायरमेंटल इम्पैक्ट एसेसमेंट प्रेडिक्ट एंड मिटिगेट द पॉल्यूटेंट इफेक्ट्स सो मैथमेटिकल मॉडल्स हेल्प्स इन डिजाइनिंग द इको फ्रेंडली प्रोसेसिस सर्कुलर इकोनॉमिक प्रिंसिपल्स प्रोमोट द वेस्ट रिसाइक्लिंग एंड रिसोर्स एफिशियंसि सो अंडारस्टैंडिंग मैटेरियल बैलेंस एट्स इन पल्यूशन प्रिभेंशन एंड एनवायरमेंटल रिस्टोरेशन सो एनवायरमेंटल डिग्रेडेशन एंड इट्स कन्सिक्वेंसेस एनवायरमेंटल डिग्रेडेशन रेफार्स टू द डिटोरिएशन अफ न्याचरल इको सिसटेम डिओ टू द्यूमैन एंड यू कैन से द न्याचरल कजेस deforestation leads to the biodiversity loss and climate imbalances the soil erosion reduces the agriculture productivity causing the food insecurity so industrial pollution contaminates the air water and soil affecting the human health over excretion over extraction of groundwater result in depletion and land subsidence the habitat destruction threatens the wildlife and disrupt the ecological function the urbanization increase the waste generation and environmental stress so engineers develop the waste management and restoration strategies policies intervention promote the conservation and the sustainable practices public participation enhances the environmental protection efforts preventing the degradation ensures the long term ecosystem resilience so now natural hazard the cause effect and management natural hazards you can say include the floods earthquakes and landslides each causing the several environmental and societal impacts the floods result from excessive rainfall deforestation and poor drainage system they lead to property damage water borne diseases and loss of life lots of life you can say earthquakes occur due to the tectonic plate movements causing the structural collapse and economic losses landslides triggered by heavily rainfall and human activities destroy the habitats and the infrastructure disaster management involves early warning systems resiling construction and emergency response plans engineers design the flood control system the seismic resistant building the slope stabilization techniques afforestation reduces the landslide risk by stabilizing the soil government implement policies for disaster awareness effective management minimizes the hazards adverse effects so now anthropogenic hazards acid rain so acid rain forms when sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides react with water vapor in the atmosphere these pollutants origin originate from fossil fuels combustion industrial emission and 
vehicular exhaust. So acid rains lowers the soil pH affecting the agriculture and forestry. It corrodes the building, monuments and infrastructure causing the economic losses. The aquatic ecosystem suffer as acidified water bodies harms the fish and plants. Control measures include reducing the sulfur content in the fuels and adopting the cleaner technologies. Scrubbers and catalytic converters minimize the industrial and vehicle emission. International treats, treats like the Clean Air Act regulate the pollutant levels. Public awareness promotes the eco-friendly transportation and the energy use, reducing the acid drain and protects the ecosystem and human health. So now, the nature and the scope of environmental science and engineering. Environmental science integrates the biology, chemistry, physics and engineering to study the ecological processes and human impacts. It addresses the pollution control, resource management and sustainability. Environmental engineers develop the solutions for air and water treatment, waste management and renewable energy. The field contributes to climate change, mitigation and disaster resilience. Research in environmental science leads to innovative green technologies. Laws and policies regulate the industrial and urban environmental impact. Education and public awarenesses promote the conservation and responsible consumption. Engineers collaborate with policymakers for sustainable urban and industrial development. Interdisciplinary approaches enhance the environmental problem solving. Advancing the environmental science ensures a healthier planet. So that's conclude our chapter 1, Fundamentals of Environment. We explored the key concepts like the population growth, resource management and population control and sustainable development. Understanding these topics helps us to recognize the environmental challenges and engineers sustainable solutions. In the next video, we will delve deeper into each aspect of environmental science. Remember, protecting the environment is a shared responsibility and engineers play a crucial role in shaping the greener future. So if you found this video helpful, make sure to like, share and subscribe to Macau Measure and stay tuned for upcoming chapters where we explore the environmental science in greater depth. Your support keeps us to motivated to bring quality content. So see you in the next video. Let's keep learning together and help the nature.